We want to find the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n times n plus 1 times n plus 2. Notice the denominator is factored, so we can use partial fraction decomposition. When we do that, we get 1 over 2n minus 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times n plus 2. We will switch spots, so the 1 over 2 times n plus 2 comes before the 1 over n plus 1. And then we're going to rewrite this. So 1 over 2 times n plus 2 can be rewritten as 1 over n plus 2 minus 1 over 2 times n plus 2. And so here, this part right here is this over here. And then here we have the negative, the minus negative 1 over n plus 2 is this one. Okay, now we simplify. Well, first we put the sum. So remember, we did partial fraction decomposition, then we put it back into the sum. And notice here with the n and n plus 2, the n plus 2 is 2 ahead of the n here. And this cancels out whatever it comes over here. So for example, when n is 1, we get 1 minus 1 third, n is 2 is 1 half minus 1 fourth. But then when n is 3, we have 1 third minus 1 fifth, and then 1 third gets canceled out by the prior 1 third over here. So basically, this cancels everything except the, for the first two terms. And then this 1 over n plus 2 cancels everything except for the first term, because these are one apart from each other. So we have 1 half, and then the first term, you plug in 1, so you have 1 minus, uh, just, sorry, just 1 for the first term. And then when n is 2, you get 1 half. You do 1 plus a half minus, and then for this one, you're only looking at the first term of this guy, which is 1 half. So simplify, 1 plus a half is 3 halves, and then we get 1 fourth as our final answer.